you think something like an outfit change wouldn't affect me so much? I didn't actually think I'd be emotional talking about this. And I'm a little bit scared. I don't consider myself a really sexy person. I was just, okay, who? all right, sorry. Uh. I'm feeling uncomfortable. You can literally see everything. I had to change halfway through the night. Hey, I'm Natalia. And I'm Mariella. And this week we are doing a scarf swap. So both of us are really into fashion. I'm the shopping editor here at BuzzFeed Oz. And I write a lot of fashion and style content. And I feel like we both have really distinct senses of style. Because we both believe that fashion can really change the way that you feel about yourself, we thought it would be fun to dress each other according to styles that we would pick for ourselves. If I was to describe Mariella's style, I would describe it as very feminine, very sartorial, um, and monochromatic. Like, so I'm a mother, I have three kids. I take great pleasure in like subverting that stereotype of a daggy mom. How would you describe my sense of style? Three words I would use would be trendy, uh, athletic, <laughs> um, bold. I mean, whenever I'm not at work, I basically live in active wear. Um, and right now I'm really into martial arts. I do a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Basically, I'm a sweaty mess most times. And so most of my clothes are really practical, but I do love them to be bright, bold, pattern, that whole, that whole thing. There's still a little bit of me in there. So here is what's gonna happen. Throughout this week, we're going to choose three different outfits for each other. An office look, a weekend day look, and a nighttime look. We're also gonna blog the blog. <laughs> We're also gonna vlog about the whole experience, what the clothes were, how they made us feel, and we are actually gonna start with our office look tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm so excited. She's gonna freak when she sees what I put her in. Oh, just you wait to see what I've got for you. So, I'm about to find out what Nat is dressing me in for the day. So, when I opened the bag, I saw a white tee, a linen blazer and I'm like, okay, so far so good. These are all things I would choose for myself. And then I picked up bike shorts. Um, these are bike shorts. <laughs> oh, no. So I was like, oh, Nat's gone there. She's, oh goodness. I have to leave the house in athletic wear to go to the office. Yeah, I don't know that I can pull that off. Let me just say, bike shorts are having such a thing right now. <laughs> they are not only practical, they are fashionable. They have suddenly become so elevated. And I, for one, am really here for it. Guys. All right, so the first thing we have a really cute, Silky skirt. I had my doubts because usually silky material for curvy girls is like lumps and bumps everywhere. That will be a challenge for me. That doesn't really seem to fit into the idea of flattering, but also is the idea of like wearing flattering clothing kind of bullshit? Probably yes. A shirt. This looks super boxy. Yes, shoes. These are gorgeous. Don't know how I feel about walking around in them all day at work. I think they're gonna kill my feet. I think this is gonna be like a really cute outfit. A little concerned about if it's gonna suit my body, but we'll give it a go. Here is the final look. Oh my god. I mean, it's super comfortable. Like, I'm in bike shorts. Oh my god, I love these shoes so much. I think she knew I was gonna love these. I just would never have paired them with black shorts. So Nat also gave me these sunnies. I don't mind them. <laughs> It'll uh, be interesting going through uh, the day like this. Okay guys, so this is the whole look. I feel so professional. I feel very feminine. The color of the skirt and the shoes I think really do work. Like the shoes are just a little pop of color. I feel like a lady about to go out and, you know, just kill the corporate world. Um, I commute to work, so I have to walk a fair while. I've had to change into flats to actually get to work. I just walked past a woman that was in my son's mother's group and I um, didn't stop to say hi. 
I think because of what I'm wearing. <laughs> what do you think of my outfit today? You look stunning. I didn't go, you were rocking those biker shorts. You keep walking past my desk, and every time that walks past, I'm like, wow, who is that? Does she run this company? I mean, oh, soon. She, you look like a boss. Yeah, Nat dressed me today. Ah, I can totally see that now. You're definitely a lot more sporty than usual. I've never seen you with those shorts on. It's very Kimmy K. Hi! Oh my, oh my god! You look so good! It's very like corporate, but still fun, but not as sporty as your usual look. But um, I love it. Holy sh my feet kill. Can I just say, like, these are actually like so much more sensible than what I like yeah. put you in. So yeah. I'm a sensible gal. Yeah, me not so much. <laughs> So I would really like to know how you felt in your office look. Honestly, like a boss bitch. I felt amazing. I had people telling me all day that I looked like a CEO, that I looked like a PR girl, which honestly is like the epitome of flattering when you're talking about fashionable people. So yeah, I did feel really, really good and confident and still in charge, even though I you know, was in a really feminine look. Oh my god, I love that so much. Okay, so what did you think of the office look that I put you in? I was skeptical, but honestly, as the day wore on, like I felt really comfortable. Mm -hmm. I felt really good. You, you know, pushed me just that much outside of my comfort zone. And yeah. yeah, I feel better for it. Yeah, this is one, I maybe my favorite look. Oh. Putting it out there, maybe. I mean, I'm not surprised because everything else was a lot louder. <laughs> hmm, this is a dress straight away. Big warning signs for me, a high neck. I had my reservations because again, as someone that is a bit bigger, it's a curvy girl, like I don't like wearing high neck things and things that show my arms. It's like something that I've always thought was not flattering on me. It's definitely an area of concern. Like that's gonna be a challenge for me, but it's it's going to be good because I need to get over my own bullshit of not liking my arms. These shoes are really cute. Would I wear these on a casual weekend out, like to a cafe to see my friends? Like no. Nothing about this screams casual to me. Ah, okay. Let me see if I can actually walk around in these all day. Do you wanna help mommy find some clothes? Okay, so it seems Nat has given me yeah, yes. overalls. What do you think about these? Do you like these? Yeah. Oh, okay, well she likes them. <laughs> Next, we've got a white shirt. Oh, it's cropped. All right, this is 100% sneakers. Like, I know it, 100%. Oh, they're cute. They're stacked at least. All right, I'm gonna get changed now. Overalls, sneakers, and a branded cropped tee. Mm -hmm. Like none of these things exist in my daily repertoire. So yeah, this is the look. So Rue and I are about to just go to the park and hang out. It's really cute. I don't love that my kind of stomach kind of comes through. I feel like it makes me look bigger than I actually am. It's cute, it's summery. I can dig this, I can work it. So I am having trouble like putting this together. I was nervous when I was putting it on. I did feel a bit boyish at first. All right, this clearly needs to be tighter. Maybe roll up the sleeves, see if I can make this work. It's super comfortable. I just feel very underdressed at the moment. Help me, <laughs> make it tighter. I um, worked out how to like actually work these things make them a bit tighter. I have to tell you, I think it's so cute. Oh my God. Do you like what mommy wears usually or what I'm wearing today? What you were wearing today. What I'm wearing today. I like you wearing everything. Oh. <laughs> Got my coffee um, and we're just going to the park to read. Feels super weird walking in heels on the grass. Hi kids! You Hi! Hi! First of all, I forgot the sunnies that Nat gave me, so I'm cheating a little bit today. What do you think of what I'm wearing today? I like it. I think it looks cool. Yeah? I do. <laughs> 
I think because I was with my family, I was in my happy place, you tend to forget about what you're wearing and that was certainly the case with this outfit because I was just so comfortable. Yeah. I always wear dresses and I feel like women can relate to the fact that these have pockets. So what do you think of this look on me? make you look older than you are, I think. I mean, I think I definitely get that from the shoes. The shoes, so you. And I can see when I pulled them out and tried them on, I was like, I can see how Mariella would wear this outfit and work it, but I think on me and perhaps it's my body type, they kind of looked a bit like, made me look a bit older together. I think it's always hard with being curvy is that you run the risk of either looking like super sexy or a little bit matronly if the clothes don't fit exactly the right way. Maybe didn't quite hit the mark. The casual weekend look, how did you feel about it? You know, surprisingly good. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised good. because for me, I thought that was going to be the one that pushed yeah. you the most. I can't show you right now, but I'm actually wearing the sneakers <laughs> that um, Nat gave me. I love them that much. I was just so comfortable. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I'm glad that you had a good time in that. How did you feel in your weekend day look? Okay. So mixed reactions. I would wear both those items separately, but I think together they didn't work on me, but I, I could see how they would work on you. Yeah, I, uh, I chose that outfit for you because I don't know if she's aware, but she has a banging body. Like, she's got curves for days. And oh, I don't know that I've ever seen her in like a form fitting, leg bearing dress. It's definitely beneficial to get me out of my comfort zone. Um, and I did have fun wearing them. So yeah, it was, it was good. So tonight is my friend Ada's house party and I have just uh, looked at the outfit that Nat has chosen for me tonight and um, yeah, like, okay, so she's put me in pants, which I could have guessed. And then she's got me these really cute shoes. I actually do love these. Then I saw what top she's given me and like, I'm not even, I'm not, I don't even know how this goes on, but I can just tell that it's very cropped and I'm a little bit scared and it's so bright. Look, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna give it a shot, I guess. Hmm, okay, little black dress. It seems really tight. This is going to be form fitting for sure. One shoulder again, my arms are out. That will be challenging for me. This year I have put on weight. We know that thinness doesn't necessarily equal healthy or thinness doesn't necessarily equal athletic, but it's still somehow harder to believe that bigger people are actually athletic and active and lead really healthy lifestyles which really sucks if you fall outside the limits of what's okay and what's not okay. Ooh, I don't actually think I'd be emotional talking about this. So just because your body carries so much meaning and your body communicates so much in different contexts, there's all this self-doubt building up because of like all this shit that I've internalized for so many years will probably be really sexy, like knowing her. And sexy is definitely an area that I don't feel super comfortable with. I don't consider myself like a really sexy person. But yeah, like going out and flaunting sexy, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So first thoughts. This top was not made for a mother who has breastfed three children because you can't wear a bra with it. Yeah, there's <laughs> no support there. And to top it off, I didn't know I was wearing white pants tonight. So I'm wearing black underwear. So <laughs> yeah, not really excited about leaving this bedroom and joining the party. This is the final look. At first I was hesitant because I put on this dress and it's a beautiful black form-fitting dress and straight away I was like, 
okay. You can literally see everything. I feel a tiny bit self-conscious. I know that that's more in my head than anyone else's. You know, at the end of the day, I have curves, this is my body. You know, I should probably get more comfortable living in it. It's really weird because when you meet people for the first time, you generally get to control their perception of you. And these people are going to meet me in this, which I don't really feel is me. Yeah, I kind of am tempted to just stay in here uh, for the rest of the night. I'm feeling uncomfortable. I was a bit unsure because you could really see my stomach in that. Again, like I think it's like a fake it till you make it situation. So I'm just gonna try to go out there, be as confident as possible and see what happens. Okay, I am so excited about this one. I really wanna know how you felt in your night look. Okay, I was a bit unsure because you could really see my stomach in that, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna have a nice time. You can look. Wow, I like it. You like? Yeah. Not gonna lie, I feel a bit uncomfortable. You'll get used to it, I think. I think by the end of the night, you'll, you'll be comfortable and confident. I hope so. And honestly, like I just, I stopped thinking about it. Like as soon as I just kind of like put on this confidence, I was like, okay, we're gonna do it. I actually felt really good. And I think by the end of it, I was really feeling myself. I was like, yes, I look good. I feel sexy. What's up? So I will definitely wear it again. We just came back from our date night and it was really fun. And I actually do feel like more confident. I don't feel like a lot of the time in my everyday life, I'm like, get all dressed up and I'm like, whoa, I am a woman. I got a photo from Nat on the night yeah. and oh my God, she looked like such a babe. Just to see her in it was, it was pretty thrilling for me. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was a good call. You, you made a really good decision there. All right, how did you feel in the going out outfit that I put you in? Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you okay? God. Yeah, I'm so fine. Oh my god, this is so like <laughs> so silly. Okay. Um. No, take it, take it. <laughs> so I've looked at the footage in that outfit. Mm -hmm. I look super cute. You do. I look super cute, <laughs> and I can recall people throughout the night, like telling me, I looked good. Um. I was just, okay, whew, all right, sorry. Uh, so I, I have anxiety and I have for like 10 years now. And so you think something like an outfit change wouldn't affect me so much. And I had friends there, but they were also strangers. And in that sort of situation, um, I think when you have anxiety, you hold on to what's familiar and that grounds you. Something that I didn't anticipate is just how much this um, outfit is affecting me. I feel very uncomfortable and really emotional. Yeah, this outfit's just um, much louder than anything I usually wear and it's making me feel very uncomfortable. And I felt my anxiety mounting. And it doesn't matter that you're wearing a really cute outfit and I can really appreciate that now. But um, I, yeah, I had to change halfway through the night. Okay, so it is now fairly late in the night. I am still not comfortable and not having a good time because of it. So I'm going to change. <laughs> I gave it a go, um, but yeah, I, uh, no, I need to um, salvage this night and get changed. So I'm back in my own dress and um, I feel a lot better. Looking forward to the rest of the night. How do you feel that you've changed out 
into your new your hey, actual. It's my outfit. <laughs> your outfit. I feel good. <laughs> I suppose I just wasn't in the headspace that night to participate in the experiment. I know that it was obviously really hard for you and like I wouldn't want to ever put you in a situation where you feel that uncomfortable. So I'm glad that you got changed and you know was able to work through whatever was going on at that point in time. But I'm also really proud that you gave it a go. You know, you yeah. definitely did step out of your comfort zone. And I mean, I think that like experiences like that really show that when it does come to fashion and style, like no matter how good something looks objectively, like it's all about how you feel in it, right? Yeah. And how it makes you feel. That's something that I definitely learned this week. My idea of like being a strong independent woman was like fitting into this really small box and you've definitely pushed that and helped me work through some of the hang-ups that I have about femininity and how to express femininity in a way that feels comfortable to me. And eventually I did actually genuinely feel confident and comfortable and like, yeah, I can go out into the world and like rock this, you know, and feel really great doing it. Oh God, I'm so glad that's so yeah. nice not. <laughs> I learnt that style is an integral part of my identity and I didn't realise just how much until I was taken out of what I've curated for myself. So I think this whole experience has taught us that fashion does have a bigger impact on the way that we think and feel about ourselves than we thought it did. And uh, sometimes our biggest critics are ourselves. So it really is worth pushing past your comfort zone and trying things that you wouldn't ordinarily put yourself in. Like bike shorts. <laughs> the bike shorts are staying. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video. We've also written about our experience. So if you want to know anything about what we wore, we're going to pop it in the video description below. And tell us what you think. Please leave us a comment with all your thoughts.